Hey, it's Brigzar. In this video, we're going to look at my kind of Lego set, a vintage Lego set. This one is from 1978, the very first year of the Lego minifigure. It is set 558 Road Crane, and as the case with a lot of these 1978 sets, the minifigure can't possibly drive the vehicle that he's using. But we don't care because we like vintage, or I do. So anyway, this is a really simple set, just 45 pieces, the one minifigure. He has stickers, we'll show you that. There's a few stickers on the vehicle, and the minifigure cannot possibly operate it. It's, the vehicle is still built in the early 1970s mini wheel vehicle style, but then they just threw the minifigure, started throwing those in the sets. It wasn't until later that they started making it where the minifigures could actually drive the sets, or the vehicles, I should say. Here is our one minifigure we get, the crane operator. He has the chevron vest. That's what those little yellow and black stripes are called. It's stickers, so you can see the stickers are starting to come off on them. Standard minifigure grin, standard red helmet. No printing on the torso or legs. So here's his crane. I still love the chrome 1x4 headlight bricks. They are in a variety of colors. It's got chevrons here. Actually, the instructions show the chevron going the other slant direction. Um, I did buy this used, so the sticker was applied in the other direction. Not that it really matters. And then you got this sticker here that's on the, the winch here. That's how you roll it up. It's on a turntable there. That's how that comes and rotates. It's got mini wheels that with the knobbies. And then this is a typical payload they used with the old hooks. Uh, they did make hooks oriented left or right. Let's see if I can lower this thing down now. There we go. And then you got the, the string that they use. Kind of like a friction thing going on here, the way they got it going around the outside. That's just kind of odd. And then just a little cab. See, it's impossible. I even tried putting the minifigure head in there. But he wouldn't fit. There's something actually kind of funny on the box. I keep knocking the minifigure over. So here's the box. 45 interlocking pieces. You can see it was purchased at Toys R Us. I like how they said Legoland on the box. So a lot of times you'll see these in the category Legoland on Bricklink and places like that. Uh, use this box for storage. Somebody ripped the box open, one of the flaps is missing. But this is funny. When you look on the back, right here, all right, this little square here, they just got the head sitting on the crane there, it looks like. <laughs> kind of weird. But it just shows you some alternate builds there. And then the instructions, we'll look at those. I like these instructions because they give you a color picture of the sets that were available. This says 1979. The box said 1978. Uh, probably the set was produced over two or three years, at least three usually. Uh, but then here's some of the vintage sets, which I have all, let's see, the only one I don't have is the hospital there. I do have the fire station. I have this little cottage or house in the front had the little police vehicles had the fire truck this is the crane here we got the little bulldozer there we got the Exxon got that police station and I love the old gray road plates so there's a look at a vintage Lego set and all the 1978 sets are special to me because that is the first year of the Lego minifigure so tell me what you think how do you like these sets? I know a lot of you kids, this is so simple and basic, but I love vintage. So, anyway, this is something I would have got when I was 10. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like the video. This is Brigzar.